that you're going to see that you can also solve a system of equations algebraically. So we've learned in past le lessons that you can find the system to a set of equations by graphing on a coordinate plane to see where the two points intersect. We can do the same thing and find the coordinate of intersection just by solving algebraically. The process to do that is to first drop the y values and set the remaining expressions equal to each other to solve for x. Second, substitute the value of x back into each equation to find the corresponding y value. And third, the x and y values found represent the coordinate where the two lines would cross if graphed. So taking a look at number one, just like the direction state, we're going to drop the y values and set 3x plus 15 equal to negative x minus 9. From there, we solve it like any other equation. I'm going to add x to both sides. which results in 4x plus 15 equals negative 9. Then I'm going to subtract 15, which results in 4x equals negative 24. And then I'm going to divide by 4, resulting in x equals negative 6. So now I've only found the x value, I need to find the corresponding y value. To do that, I substitute the negative 6 into both equations to make sure it works. So we have y equals 3 times negative 6 plus 15, which is negative 18 plus 15, which is negative 3. I'm going to do the same for the second equation just to double check. So we have y equals negative, negative 6. Okay, be really careful with that double negative. Minus 9. Negative negative 6 is like doing negative 1 times negative 6, which becomes positive 6 minus 9. And 6 minus 9 is also negative 3. So that's giving me my solution of negative 6 negative 3. So there's a lot of work involved in here, but it's important to do all of it to double check to make sure you've done it correctly. Number two, we do the same process. Again, drop the y's. So 3 halves x minus 1 equals 6 minus 2x. Add 2x to both sides, and adding 2 is like doing 4 over 2, and 4 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is 7 over 2, so it's 7 over 2x minus 1 equals 6, add 1, add 1. So 7 over 2x equals 7. Multiply by the reciprocal. And we get x equals 7 divided by 7 is 1 times 2 is 2. Now we plug the 2 back into the other equations to, to see what the y value is. So we have y equals 3 halves of 2 minus 1. The 2's cancel out. y equals 3 minus 1, which also happens to be 2. Let's see if it works the same for the second equation. y equals 6 minus 2 times 2. So y equals 6 minus 4. So y again equals 2. So the solution to this system is 2, 2. I'm going to do two more with you just to make sure you get the process down. OK, 
Okay, so for number three, Again, first step is to place the two equations equivalent to each other. So we have 4x minus 5 equals negative 3x plus 2. Start by adding 3x to both sides. And 7x minus 5 now equals positive 2. Add 5 to both sides. And 7x equals 7. Divide by 7. And x equals 1. So remember that is only part of the answer. We need the whole solution, so both the x and the y. So now we're going to substitute x back into both equations to, make sh to find the y value. So we have y equals 4 times 1 minus 5. So y equals... 4 minus 5, therefore y equals negative 1. Let's make sure we get the same thing for the second equation. y equals negative 3 times 1 plus 2. So y equals negative 3 plus 2, which again is negative 1. So the solution to this equation is 1, negative 1. And again, if those two graphs or those two equations were graphed on a coordinate plane, they would intersect at that point, one, negative one. All right, number four, we have, again, two equations. We're going to drop the y's, set the remaining expressions equivalent to each other. So one-fourth x minus 15 equals nine plus seven-fourths x. I'm going to start by subtracting 1 fourth because I know that is less than 7 fourths. That leaves me with negative 15 equals positive 9 plus 6 fourths, which reduces to 3 halves of x. Subtract 9. We get negative 24 equals 3 halves x. Multiply by the reciprocal. And x equals negative 24 divided by 3, which is negative 8, times 2, which is negative 16. Now we're going to take the negative 16, plug it in to find the corresponding y values. So y equals one-fourth of negative 16 minus 15. Negative 16 divided by 4 is negative 4 times 1 stays as negative 4 minus 15. So y equals negative 19. Now we're going to double check in the second equation. y equals 9 plus 7 fourths of negative 16. So y equals 9 minus, because a positive times a negative is a negative, 16 divided by 4 is 4, 4 times 7 is 28. And just like 28 divided, or 28 minus 9 is positive 19, 9 minus 28 is going to be negative 19. So our final solution is negative 16, negative 19. So you're on your own now. Go ahead and see if you can do the following equations on your own.